Sports time Thanksgiving. Well, it's in the rearview mirror and high school basketball season beginning to heat up and we had some great games on tap for you tonight. We start the action off tonight in Viketown. Hoggard hosting the West Bladen Knights on the girls side of things and the Vikings jumped out to early five to nothing lead and this was a big reason why Blair barefoot forces the turnover, takes it coast to coast, finishing with her right hand. But West Bladen would do their best to stay in the ball game, showing off the hustle, which every coach loves to see. Lexi Carruther saves it into the arms of Michaela Meadows. She gets the shot to fall. But the Vikings, well, they just shot the basketball too well in the first half. Julie Wilkerson, the senior from the corner, cans the three ball. Hoggard wins this one by 44 to 11 final score. On to the boys game now. We had a making of a very good one. It was a three point game a year ago. Pick this one up in the second half. West Bladen by one. Cameron Blanks with the no look to Luke Lamport. The junior kisses it off the glass to give the Vikings the lead. But West Bladen would crank things up offensively. Chiron Adams responds with a three ball. Knights jump back on top. And he's good at football, but he can also play a little hoops as well. Tyree Boykin with the putback to give West Bladen a four point lead in the third quarter. But Hoggard, well, they would go on an 8 nothing run to end the ball game, pick up their first win on the season, 60-52, the final score. For our next set of games, we go down Carolina Beach Road as Ashley was hosting White Oak. Ashley and the girls' side of things jumped out to the 13 to nothing lead after the first quarter and add to it in the third. Caitlin Brannett finishing through the contact. She would get the hoop and the harm for the end one. But after the first quarter, White Oak, well, they started to click offensively. Amariza Rawls, the pass over the top to Naquisha Brown. She'll finish it. Trimmed the Screaming Eagle lead in the fourth quarter. And we saw Brandon score on the previous play, but she says, I can pass the rock as well, finding Lauren Craig on the backside for the lay-in. Ashley wins their first game of the year over White Oak, 40-22, the final from Ashley High. Let's move on to the boys' game now, and this one would turn into an instant classic. White Oak was firing on all cylinders from the tip, running and gunning. Check out the pretty reverse spinning its way in. That made it two to nothing. And as they say in every sport, good defense leads to good offense. It's Ty Freeman in transition. He'll get the pretty left-handed lay-in to get Ashley on the board. And if you're a fan of defense, this was a great game for you. Check out this, the huge block. The senior saying no, 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 Will Roper. But the game would come down to the final possession, and it was White Oak. They would make the plays down the stretch. They beat Ashley. See the pretty finish here, 49-48, the final score, and what was a very great 